and science are both ways of exploring the world around us, of turning our observations into ideas that help explain what we see. So it makes sense that combining the two can create an even better understanding of our environment. Kate Simmons is the science director at the Nurture Nature Center in Easton, Pennsylvania. And she joins us now to talk about her work connecting art and science in the Create Connections Project. Thanks for being here, Kate. Uh, thank you for having me. Why, how do you see art connecting with the earth and space sciences, and why is this important? So art and science are, are very, uh, to me, intimately intertwined. Um, the same critical skills are in both, um, both using power of observations, both trying to make meaning of the world around them, um, and both really helping understand um, our environment. And so to me, it's, it's a logical connection. Can you tell us about any projects or research that you've come across where you see this collaboration in action? Yeah, so especially in my work with the Nurture Nature Center is that we try to integrate science, art, and community. And the art really helps get the community on board because sometimes um, the general public may be a little bit wary of science. They might not feel like they understand science or that you know it's above them. And so they tend to shy away from it or it's not for them. And art really helps break down those barriers and makes it much more accessible. So for instance, in one project we've been doing where we're focusing on resiliency and trying to get the community to come together around the common vision of resilience we've integrated art into that. So we had local artists do these large scale murals of a vision of community resilience and it was much more effective in engaging the community and having conversations than just a presentation about here are hazards and how they're changing because of climate. So you were talking a little bit earlier about how once upon a time scientists actually kind of had to be artists and then that kind of went away it feels like and as art is being integrated back into science do you find that there's a lot of receptivity to it are people excited about this idea um, yeah I'm are scientists embracing art I see it growing I think that there's some that might be hesitant because again it's another thing that they might not feel like they're an expert in and they don't know how or, or, or why they really should be integrating it into their work. And so we had this article in EOS where we tried to be like, well, why should you do this and how can you do this? And I've had lots of projects that have all, they're always very interesting to me that um, when I've been trying to connect artists to scientists, experts, because they're trying to study a particular issue before they create a piece. Um, those interviews are really fascinating because the scientists are also like, I don't know how to talk to the artists, and the artists are like, I don't know how to talk to the scientists, but we all have common values and interests, and so I'm usually the, the mediator there, and it's, it's really, they're, they're great conversations once you break down those barriers. Tell me about Create Connections. What's this project that you've been working on? So Create Connections is a NOAA-funded um, project where we are trying to make connections within our local community to see climate and resiliency as a whole community problem. And a whole community approach is needed. And so what we're doing is we're combining science, art, and community and doing things from public art installations to educational and outreach campaigns to working with the local libraries, to working with um, local community-based organizations like community, uh, community Bike Works. And we're also doing annual youth climate summits in order to get the youth voice in there as well. But it's definitely um, been a, something that we've built to over the years and it comes on the back of some other really great work. And all of it was really coming back to that science, art, and com community integration. Kate Simmons, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.